Okay, so this will be a short tutorial to help you set up your textures and also include and add foliage from Megascans. First time you download the file, you should see a folder. And once you unzip it, you will be inside of the Desert Mountain Pack 01. So what you want to do is double click on the UE project file. So first time you open this up, you will see this blank default scene. So what you want to do is go into the D369 folder, double click on maps and double click on the overview map. Okay, so our file has loaded. And what I'm going to do is just show you guys that this is a very small and you can change your speed here if you haven't done that. And again, the terrain is just a very small terrain. There's a few rocks. And the goal of this scene is really to be able to build something with very few assets. So that way you can kind of realize the scene. And the main purpose of this is really for you to be able to practice. So I basically created a small little path here. You can either right click and say play from here, or you can just click play. And that is going to go into a file that will be if you go and look in your folders. If you select the player start and hit F, it'll show you where the starting point for that is. So with that said, I'll click play. And you can see that we do have a pathway here that's going up and down. And I do already have some of these meshes in here. And the engine is great. I mean, you can scale up certain things, even with certain high resolution textures, you can still get away by keeping a lot of information and detail in your scene. If you go into the D369 folder, you will see the landscape materials. So you want to open that up. This is the master material. If I double click on this, you'll see how I set this up. And then there is an instant material where I basically set up all the texture files. This is where we're going to include them your roughness for each texture set. So let's say if you have a texture set in A and you want to change its color tint, this is where you would do that. Or if you want to change its tiling or roughness. So I'm going to close this for now and go into the brushes folder. So I've included some brushes too. And what these brushes will do, uh, if you go to your landscape mode, You'll see that we have sculpting here. Then we have manage and paint. For utilizing these brushes, I'm going to go to sculpting. And then you want to select the alpha brush. And you can either drag and drop these like so. Or you can extend the window. And once you select it, you can just click this arrow to load it. So once that file is loaded, you also have the option to be able to go in and change the brush size. And you can also change the tool strength as well as the rotation of your textures. So if I have my brush size at this right now, you can see that it will create random areas because we're using an alpha brush in here. So I'll pick another one or just drag and drop. And you can see it's going to start doing that. But all you want to do is really control it under the tool strength. So you can basically go in and make changes to your terrain. And usually what I do, I will basically always go to my starting point. Right. So if I have or you can set up a camera, but this is not an in-depth tutorial. This is really just a video tutorial to help you load the textures into the scene as well as some vegetation. This is really useful. If you're trying to create something, I just recommend that you keep this really low and it's okay to uh, go to max with your brush. And you can see that you can create really nice, simple areas in here. If you don't have a height map and I'll change it to another one. Now we'll select this guy. 
And you can see it's just creating really random variations here. Okay, so let's get back into loading our uh, textures and adding vegetation. Now we're going to use mega scans and we are going to download, or if you already have downloaded them, you can basically just click this blue arrow, which will add it to your scene. So let me show you an example. And if you do not have bridge, you can watch tutorials on the internet, how to uh, go in and activate your bridge. And you can basically dock that window down here. So we do have a few different textures here. So what I'll do is um, I will get this one and watch what happens when you basically download them. Also make sure that you select a certain type of quality. So for this, I'm just going to do medium quality, but you can change that to your personal preference. I'm gonna hit export. And that puts it in my content folder into the mega scan folder, which Unreal has created now. And if I go to my surfaces, you can see that my Canyon dry mud is in here with a with all the uh, textures and a material. So this is a material instance that already has a lot of really cool functions provided by Unreal Engine. And you can just read and go through these. But for now, what we're going to do, since we already downloaded this, I am going to basically click on these meshes in my scene. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go into another content browser. I'm gonna go into the D369 folder, meshes, and I'm gonna double click on the first mesh. So what we wanna do, we wanna assign a texture to this. That's really simple. I am going to go back to that one texture set material that we downloaded from Megascans, and I'm going to click this arrow and assign it. So now we have that texture assigned. I am going to hit save and close my file. Now you can see that all these little meshes and assets that I put in here do have that texture assigned to it. So let's do this rock. And you can download other elements or textures and you can assign it. But in this case, I'm going back to my second rock piece here. And again, I'm going to plug this in here and you can see now I do have that texture set assigned to this mesh and hit save. And we can see that the rocks are in here now. And we're going to do the same thing now for our landscape material. 